Let's talk new stadium with Titans president and CEO Burke Nihill. I guess we ought to bring everybody up to speed just to start with. So the Titans are going to have a new stadium, an enclosed stadium in 2027. We know that because Metro Council approved it about three and a half weeks ago. And so I, I guess the real question I have that probably a lot of people would be interested to know is how did we get here? Well, it's been a long journey, Mike. Uh, I, I went back and looked at emails. Um, and, and the earliest email that I could find that was talking about needing to find a better way forward was sometime in 2018. So we're coming up on about five years worth of work trying to find that better way forward. Um, the, the issue started with the fact that Nissan Stadium, as great as it's been as a home for the Titans and other events in, in Nashville, it's, it's getting a little long in the tooth and, and there's just, there's issues that are very costly to be keeping up uh, in terms of maintaining the building and making sure that it maintains uh, it being a, a first class facility for, for the Titans and for other events in Nashville. And um, the, the lease uh, that, that governs this current stadium puts the all, well a good chunk at least of the burden on, uh, on the taxpayers in Nashville to maintain the building. And so for five years we've been trying to find a better way forward. You know, how can, we, how can we ultimately remove the taxpayers from that burden while also making sure that the, the stadium gets the updates that it needs? And we, for a long time, believed that a renovation was, was that right path. Uh, and at some point, after lots of work and, and consultation, recognized that that probably wasn't the, the right solution either. And so about a year and a half ago, we transitioned to the possibility of a new stadium. And, and you know, we're grateful that that year and a half has unfolded in a way uh, where we found that better path forward. This is a solution that actually takes the taxpayers out of this risk position that they've been in uh, under this, this current lease um, and is something that's going to deliver just a beautiful world class facility for Titans fans and for everyone who comes to that stadium for concerts and soccer games and, and other uh, just the world's biggest events uh, are, are very reasonable to be believing uh, that we'll be coming to Nashville uh, starting in 2027. And let's just say it again, this is happening. It's happening, it's happening. Uh, the Sports Authority uh, and Metro City Council both needed to approve uh, the, the terms of the transaction. Sports Authority approved in early April and uh, uh, City Council approved in late April. So it is a live wire, it is, it is happening. We've got a lot of work to do, of course, uh, to, to make sure that we're building the right building and, and that um, it's, it's constructed properly and is, is a building that's going to be durable and, uh, and flexible to last decades and decades and decades uh, uh, beyond 2027. And, uh, but it, it is happening. In 2027, uh, those doors will open for Titans football and other events. So when we saw the renderings that got us all very excited, Manica put those together and gave us some unbelievable concepts. What's next? Manica is what's referred to as a design architect. So Manica literally helps design the building. They, they kind of help vision it. They decide, help us decide what are the right spaces and the right proportions of things and the rest of it. And they're doing an incredible job. Uh, and we're very excited to have them. Uh, next, we actually need to identify an architect of record, which we have actually recently done. Uh, TVS is going to be the architect of record. The difference between a design architect and an architect of record if the design architect is helping to design and, and dream the building and kind of initial, initially cast it, the architect of record is really getting into the nuts and bolts. They're helping actually write the specific plans uh, that are, are, are what a construction manager will ultimately work off of to build the building. Uh, TVS is, is, a, is a terrific uh, architect. They actually work locally on the Music City Center. Uh, they've got incredible references from some recent buildings they built in the NFL. Mercedes-Benz Stadium raved about their work, uh, and so we're excited to have TVS on board. One part we're really excited about is thinking about how to get local, diverse businesses opportunities to work on this project. We appreciate that projects like this are legacy projects to work on, and so we're trying to find really creative ways to make sure we're maximizing those opportunities across the board for local, diverse businesses to work on, on the stadium project as a whole. Are those decisions the ones that probably take you through the end of the year, or are there other things that need to be done before the end of 2023? That's that's primarily the that, that will be the focus for now. Uh, but to give you a sense, I think by the end of the year uh, we should be far enough along in the architect process, in the construction manager process, such that we would expect that not long after this next football season closes in January, February of next year 
that we could actually start to put some shovels in the ground and, and start to actually uh, st you know, be building into those, that parking lot to, to make the new stadium you know, construction process get underway.